I won't be going into too much detail on Paul's course or be sharing any of the secrets his course has. If you'd like greater detail than what's presented in this video or more information, you can purchase Paul's course at mmmlearn.com. What's up, everybody? Welcome back for day 55, the second day of my Paul Franklin Foundations of E9 course study. One thing I forgot to mention in yesterday's video is that if you don't want to purchase this course or just want to get a feel of what it, the course is like, Paul has tutorial videos available for free that sample the content in the Foundations course. For example, his comparison of the pedal steel guitar and six string guitar can be accessed for free if you provide your email address. With that said, after a little bit of hands-on pedal steel practice, I spent my time today doing a true dive into the information and instructional content of Paul's course. Following a recommendation from a subscriber on the channel, I decided to do some active learning and write down everything I wanted to remember from the first two sections of the course. So that's exactly what I did. I outlined the first two major sections of the Foundations course. First, how to navigate Modern Music Masters courses, and second, getting ready to play. The first section was a very brief overview of how the programs on this platform operate, but the second main section is where things started to get fun. The second section, getting ready to play, contains tons of information about the pedal steel. You're greeted with an introductory message from Paul, then he shares all sorts of information ranging from the parts of the pedal steel guitar to a basic tuning translation for players coming from the six string guitar to open string intervals on the pedal steel. All the information in this section is fundamental to playing this instrument. I personally thought that the most useful portion of this section was the discussion on intervals of the pedal steel. I've discussed intervals on this instrument in some of my previous videos, but my early explanations and insight were nothing near as concise and as accurate as Paul's are. He breaks down the intervals between all the strings and labels everything very clearly. Also, after presenting the string intervals for when the A and B pedals are pressed and not pressed, the course includes a useful quiz to make sure you're grasping the info. There's a note towards the end of the quiz that let me know that the interval information is absolutely essential for everything to come in the course, so I'm going to study these intervals and spend time memorizing them every day. After 55 days of playing this instrument, I have an intuition of where I can find major and minor chords, but I didn't have a clear sense of where everything was. Seeing how both those types of chords are made now makes it clear. Paul presents the four major triad groupings and explains major chord inversions. Aside from a college guitar course, I don't have any formal music theory instruction. I feel like learning about how the A, B, and C pedals interact with the pitches of the strings and modify the string intervals pushes me out of that true beginner pedal steel player stage. In the past 55 days, I've been relying on my basic understanding of the Nashville numbering system, something Paul also explains in this section of the course, and put together songs and pieces that sound good. Now, I'm beginning to understand how the pieces fit together on the instrument. Don't forget to drop a like on this video if you've taken this course before or you're following along with my pedal steel journey. Overall, the second main section of the course contains awesome videos, well-organized charts, and valuable information. I can't say I have anything to complain about up to this point because it's all concise and clear. Thanks again to everyone who recommended the course to me previously. I have a good feeling that this is going to be an enjoyable learning experience in the upcoming days. That said, thanks for watching. Leave a comment below with your favorite song, which Paul Franklin has played on. There's got to be so many out there because he's probably the most respected steel player in the music industry right now. And as always, play every day.